<clears throat> Hi guys, how are you all today morning? Good morning. Today is 3rd November 2022. My name is T.S.V. Raghavan and I live in Chennai, Tamil Nadu, India. I am a published author with Amazon Kindle and paperback. I write on spiritualism, fiction and assorted subjects. Spiritualism happens to be my favorite subject. This is my spiritual vlog on YouTube. Hari Bol T-R-S-V Nectar N-E-C-T-A-R Nectar In this particular vlog, in my previous videos, we have been discussing about the knowledge and information that we have gleaned through the study of spiritual books, scriptures, contemplation on the material universe and meditation on the spiritual universe. This particular vlog is no exception to that rule. In fact, it is only a continuation of what we have been doing till now. In the past few videos, we have been talking about the seven heavenly and seven hellish planets that have been mentioned in the scriptures. Of these, we have already completed seven of the heavenly planets and four of the hellish planets. Two we, today, we will discuss about the fifth hellish planet which is known as Mahatala. Now, Mahatala's ruling deity is none other than Lord Balarama. Lord Balarama, also called the seventh incarnation of Lord Vishnu, is actually the elder brother of Lord Krishna. Both of them appeared in the Dwapar Yuga. However, in the Treta Yuga before, Lord Balarama came as Lakshmana, the younger brother of the sixth incarnation of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Vishnu. This incarnation was called Lord Rama. Because Lord Rama was an incarnation of Vishnu in Treta Yuga, the same Rama came as Balarama in the Dwapar Yuga as the elder brother of Sri Rama's incarnation as Lord Krishna. Now, who is Lord Balarama and Lord Lakshmana? Actually, there is a 1000 hooded, hooded serpent called Ananta Naga or Ananta Sesha. The body of this 1000 hooded serpent is used as a bed for Lord Vishnu, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, to lie down in the Milky Way. His consort, Lord Vishnu's consort, 
Lady Lakshmi is always with Lord Vishnu. The 1000 hoods of Ananta Naga or Ananta Sesha who came as Balarama later provide an umbrella for the head of Lord Vishnu. In other words, when Lord Vishnu lies down on the bed of the Ananta Naga's body, Ananta Naga's hoods, 1000 hoods, provide an umbrella to Lord Vishnu. We have seen pictures of such lying down of Lord Vishnu along with his consort lady or goddess Lakshmi on the bed or body of Ananta Naga with Ananta Naga's 1000 hooded head providing an umbrella to Lord Vishnu. Now because Lord Balarama is a 1000 hooded serpent called Ananta Naga or Ananta Sesha, hence as he is the ruling deity of Mahatala, the fifth hellish planet, this particular planet is inhabited by several serpents of several hoods. Some have one, some two, three, four and so on. Some of the famous inhabitants of Mahatala are none other than Takshaka, Kaliya and other such serpents. Most of them are very pious and devotees of Lord Balarama and Lord Vishnu. However, there are some serpents like Kaliya who are up to some mischief or the other. Lord Balarama, the actual ruling deity of Mahatala, did not interfere at all when Lord Krishna chastised his own inhabitant of Mahatala, Kaliya the serpent, who was poisoning the lake or the Yamuna river. This shows that though Kaliya inhabits Mahatala, the ruling deity Lord Balarama does not interfere when this man or this serpent deliberately commits evil and is chastised by God. Now, there are several serpents who are in this Mahatala as I had mentioned before. Mahatala is quite opulent and devotional also. People here are devoted to the Lord. On the other hand, the sixth planet, Rasatala, is inhabited by huge gigantic reptiles who are very venomous and envious of the Supreme Personality of Godhead Vishnu. They are very scared of Garva, the carrier of Lord Vishnu, whose habit is to kill and eat these reptiles and serpents. This place is full of such venomous creatures who live in Rasadala in holes so that they need not come out and face the wrath of Lord Balarama, Lord Vishnu or Garuda. These people are extremely 
extremely scared of these peop these gods because they feel that those people will chastise or kill them actually kaliya who was in mahatala actually belong to rasatala however because he was chastised by god and because lord vishnu's feet touched his forehead this person escaped being in rasatala and instead he is an inhabitant of mahatala which has lord balarama as the ruling deity the last planet among the hellish planets is patala this seventh last hellish planet which is down below and which is at the end is inhabited by a serpent clan called the nagas nagas are something like cobras they are extremely venomous yet they cannot be caught very dangerous because unless and until they are provoked they will not retaliate this kingdom of nagas is ruled by a king called vasuki vasuki is the own the actual serpent who is entwined into the neck of shiva because he wanted to be protected from garuda by lord shiva vasuki the naga gets entwined on the neck of lord shiva and so he feels safe that nobody can harm him otherwise he is also a cobra a snake a naga and he is the ruler of the naga kingdom this naga kingdom is opulent and it is far more opulent and rich with various precious stones and jewelry etc than the heavenly planet swargaloka itself vasuki may be a naga but he is an ardent devotee of lord shiva so much so that he gets a seat on the neck of lord shiva that though these people are inhabitants of hellish planets and though they belong to the negative and dark forces yet they are not considered evil or bad unless and until they are provoked they will not hit back kindly let me know what you think of my talk on this particular subject please give me your own expert opinions thoughts and ideas so that we may blend everything together for the benefit of the society kindly subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that i may keep reminding you of my other videos till we meet in my next video it is good morning from tsv raghavan